Good morning. Someone asked how I make my patterns. Normally I make them in PaintShop Pro. There's a pattern feature, a tool that will allow you to just click a few times and play with levers. Um, however, there is a way to do it in GIMP, and we're going to use the kaleidoscope to achieve this. We're going to make seamless patterns. Take the picture that you want to see as a pattern. It doesn't matter what it is. I just, I grab paint brushes and splatted out some of my favorite stuff. Go to filters, go to distorts, and hit your kaleidoscope. Now play with the kaleidoscope. Get it somewhere where you, you think it might look pretty cool given the colors and the pattern and whatnot. Take your mirrors down to two, and then play with your zoom. Now, if there's a space you went too far, just bring it back in a little bit, and there we go. This is a seamless pattern, almost. Let's get that green centered in the corners. There we go. Now, the top and bottom will just be little bits of green. I want more than that. So I'm going to adjust my settings a little bit more. Oh, I want this one to come in, don't I? Okay. There we go. Now I have more green in it. I wanted to see that. Oh, nice. X marks that spot. <laughs> okay. Um, this is seamless. I'd like to see what it's going to look like. Now I started with a thousand by a thousand. I'm going to grab out of my toolbox. I'm going to grab my scale tool. Click the picture. Notice this lock. By default, it should be locked for you. Just highlight, type 300, enter, and there you go. Scale. Now right click, go to edit, and copy that selection. Right click, edit, and paste as new brush. I'm going to have to name it. I'm going to call this one test. And then I'm going to go over here, turn on my patterns, make sure I have test selected. There it is. Well, actually, it was the last thing on my clipboard, so there it is. It's still there. And I'm going to put my bucket on. Go to my tool options, make sure I'm on pattern fill, and give it a pour. Now, 1,000 by 1,000 with a 300 size pattern, um, I see a line. There is, is not fully seamless yet. Well, this is good. That way I can show you how to deal with a situation like that. We're going to back it up. Back it up to the very beginning. Take it into the kaleidoscope. And then it presets. Up here, I'm going to select the last thing that I saved so that I can pick up where, where I left off, basically. That way I'm not really changing the design over much. Now, the pattern, uh, the crease that I saw was top to bottom. So we need to move this um, Let's see if that's got it fixed. I'm going to scale it down to 300. And the reason it's so small, if I leave it this size and then try to use it, it's going to come out and cover the page and look exactly as it does. I won't know that this is seamless. With uh, GIMP, you can't change the size of your patterns once they're already in. Um, you're kind of stuck with them as they are, and they come out that way. So... You might want to make your patterns pretty small so that they will come out. Notice some of GIMP's patterns that came with GIMP are really tiny. It's, a, it's, it's different. It takes a little getting used to, but it's not difficult by any means. Okay, copy. I'm going to paste again as my new pattern, and I'm keeping this name since it's the same pattern. I'm going to go test it. Control Z undoes that. Put my bucket on. Last thing on my clipboard was this, and have at it. There we go. It's seamless. There are no creases, no seams. Um, it comes out as what it comes out at, and it's seamless. <laughs> so I'm going to make a copy of this, and I will have it posted in a group um, that is just being started on Facebook. You don't need to wait to be added. If you want to join, you just join. It's going to be a place to find information as well as share information. Share your knowledge with others. If somebody has a question that hasn't been answered or you know a different answer, please, by all means, share it. So the link will be in the description of this, this uh, tutorial. Next pattern, I'm going to do it again. I'm going to make another seamless pattern here. If I run into any problems, we'll be able to address that one too. Take it down to two, 
If you want to use four, you can, but you know, it's going to change uh, change the dynamics of the actual pattern itself. And I'm going for something specific here. And play with the zoom. I almost forgot about that part. Oh, neat. Let's see. There we go. Clear up those. And now I need to have it seamless top and bottom. And so far it is not. Whoops. Darn. Well, I, I don't know if that messed it up or not. Kind of did, I think. There we go. There we go. That should be seamless. Let's find out. I'm going to take her down to 300 with my scaling tool. That's one of the admins from that group I was telling you about. <laughs> I got to copy it. Um, I'll paste it as my new layer, or my new pattern. Oh my goodness. And I've had a pot of coffee, folks. I've been up for a little while. Test one this time. <laughs> Put your bucket on, give her a fill. Remember, make sure that you are on pattern fill with your bucket settings and your tool options. And it looks like I've achieved seamless. Great. I'm going to try this one more time. I don't know why I wanted to do three. Um, every time I did a test run, I ran into a different problem. And I just figured, well, you know, maybe you should learn about those problems so that you know what to do about them. You panic and you yell at Gimp. No. <laughs> oh, I forgot to take my mirrors down to two. Hey, I'm almost there. <laughs> oh, neat. Whoa, I've gone too far. Neat. Hmm. Maybe right to about there on the sides. Now for the top bottom. Voila. I think that's got it, folks. All right. Grab your scale tool. 300. And 300 is a really good size for gimp patterns, really. The way they come out. Right click and copy. Right click and paste as new pattern. <laughs> this one's going to be test two. Total of three. Control Z undoes what I did before. Grab my bucket. Give it a pour. Voila. And there you have it. So these will be posted, the before and after pictures, as well as the parameters to each of the kaleidoscopes that were used here to, to achieve this in the video. So if you want to follow along in that way, in that manner, you're welcome to. And anything I post in this group is going to be free. Have at it if you're interested. If we're able to help you, give us a, a, a holler. I do take message requests. You don't have to friend me to message me. You can message me in the group as well. You can ask anybody anything, and whoever's got an answer will answer. <laughs> I hope we're able to help you out, and I hope this found you well, and I hope it helped you. Have a good one.